Hey guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. All right. Well, today we're going to do a subscriber request, and I received a question how to get a label on a wine bottle uh, because you apply glass material to the bottle, and how do you get the label on top of the glass material, right? Well, that was a question, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a wine bottle, and we're going to stick a label on it, okay? Let's go to our panel view. We're going to go to View, Image Plane, and Import Image. And on my desktop, I have a wine bottle. There we go. Okay. It's a bit big, so we're going to hit R, and we're going to scale that down quite a bit, and hit W and pull that up. All right. Now, we're not going to make this an extremely fancy bottle for the simple reason that this is about explaining the technique of getting the label on it. Okay. So uh, let's see, we've got 20 subdivisions, that's fine. We'll do seven in height, that's all right. And then we'll switch to this view. And we're gonna hit R and we're gonna scale in, <coughs> excuse me, until we roughly have the, uh, the diameter of the bottle. Just pull it down a bit, like so. And actually let's start down here, all right. So we got that. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to add some caps. So let's do four, that's about right. And then we're gonna take away the faces on the top. So we're gonna right click on a face. Well, come on, oops. We'll select that row and then hit shift period on your keyboard to increase that selection and hit delete to take out the top, okay? Then we're going to go to this view. We're going to right click and go to edge. Select that top edge. Go to edit mesh and extrude. Hit W to pull that up like so. And then from here, we're going to, okay, we're going to pull that up. We're going to hit G to repeat. W to pull up some more. GW. JW, and at this point, you also need to hit R to scale that in. JW, pull up, and R to scale in. JW, pull up, and scale in. JW, JW, <coughs> excuse me. GW, and just keep on going. Trying to do it fairly fast. We're not going to create that thick piece just yet, and I'll explain why. And we're at the top. Okay. All right. And then, before we do anything else, um, we're going to tweak the bottom a little bit, okay? So we're going to right click, go to edge, and we're going to double click on that edge and on that edge, and we're going to pull that up, okay? Let's check it from this view. We're going to turn on our x-ray, and, you know, our bottle is not exactly the same, but that's fine. So we pull that up. Now, there's one little vertex here that's still staying behind, so we're going to right-click go to vertex. We're going to select that and push that up. And let's just check and see where it's at. That's okay. And then we're going to go in and we're going to add some edge loops. All right. Um, let's see. We'll do... Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool. We'll do one here, but not all the way down. We'll do one here and one here to kind of hold that shape. And on the top here, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to right click to Object Mode. We're going to go to Edit Mesh and Extrude. Sorry, Object Mode. Edit Mesh, Extrude. Not sure what the problem is. 
Let's try it once more. Edit mesh. That's weird. That should just work. Edit mesh. Extrude. Very, very strange. Just hang on a sec, guy. I found a problem. Uh, after adding edge loops, you need to hit Q on your keyboard to get out of that function. So right click object mode, edit mesh, extrude, and let's do 0 0.025. And let's see how that looks. Maybe a bit more. 0 0.03, maybe even more than that. 0 0.045. That's about right. Okay. Now we want the top of the bottle to be a bit uh, smooth. Okay. So we're going to go to insert edge loop and we'll do one here and one here. And then we want that bottleneck section up top to be there. So we're going to Q on our keyboard. We're going to right click at a face. Select this face row and go to Edit Mesh and Extrude. Let's give that a little thickness, not too much. 0 0.05, that should be fine. Okay. We're going to test smooth this. So right click Object Mode and hit 3 to smooth out. So now the top of the bottle is okay. That thickness section here, we need to reinforce that a little bit. So hit one to go back. We're going to go to insert edge loop tool and we'll add one there and one there. Q on our keyboard, right click object mode and three to smooth. That's better. Okay. Now the neck of the bottle is a little bit thick. So let's see if we can tweak that a little. Right click vertex, drag select all of this, and hit R and just pull that in and pull that up. That should be a little bit better. Right click object mode and three to smooth. Okay, so here's our bottle. All right, we're going to get rid of this guy, hit delete. We're going to apply some glass material to this. Right click assign new material. MIA underscore X. Material tab. Presets. Glass solid and replace. So now it's all glass. Okay. And now we're going to need to define the area where we want to apply our label. Okay. Now here's the thing. We now have two... Um, face sides, if you will. Okay. So if I right click and go to face and select this face, there's also a face behind it. And that's typically what you want to see on a wine bottle because the label is on the outside of the glass and not on the inside. It's not a solid label, if you will, with thickness. Okay. So if you were to look through the empty bottle, you would be able to see glass first and then the back side of the label. So that's what we're going for. Okay. So we're going to switch to this view here and we're going to kind of eyeball where we want our label to be. So let's just start by selecting these guys here. And let's see. That's not too bad and specifically make sure that you do not select anything else. Okay. So we've got those selected. We're going to go up to UV and we're going to select cylindrical mapping. Okay, there you go. Then we are going to uh, reselect our faces. Actually, there we go. Um, we're going to right click and assign new material. I just kind of painted myself into a corner here, guys. Sorry about that. Four by six. Okay. Okay, so we've got those. 
it's UV'd. We're going to right click assign new material. We're going to go with a Lambert. Okay. We're going to hit our checkered box. We're going to select file, folder, and on my desktop, I have this wine label. Now let's see if that fits somewhat. We're going to hit our spherical ball here to turn on texture. There we go. Looks okay. Let's check in our UV. Go to UV editor. We're going to right click at a shell. This is it. And as you can see, it needs to come in a little bit. So we're going to hit R and we're going to push it in until it's within our zero to one space. That's just a bit better. All right. So that's our bottle with our label. Then we're going to right click at object mode and we're going to look for our glass. I'll just delete the history quickly, edit, delete by type history and modify freeze transformations. This is my glass material. It's a bit bluish as you can see. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to select a green and push that back a little to kind of get a dark bottle effect. Okay. We're going to take our bottle. We're going to, from our top view, move it pretty much to the middle of our grid. From here, we're going to move it down. There we go. Then we're going to create a floor plan or plane for my bottle to sit on. There we go. Let's right click face, right click assign new material. Let's do a Fong E. And let's make that uh, white. Okay. We are going to create some lights. So create lights and area light. Hit W to pull that up. Hit seven on your keyboard to activate your light and E to rotate it. And we're going to hit T on our keyboard to get a control that will allow us to aim it towards our bottle. Okay. So now when you move your light, it's pointing towards our bottle. Okay. We're going to hit control D to duplicate that light. And let's move that over there and control D once again. And let's move that one over there. And we'll take this guy, control D and move it over there. Okay. We're going to turn on our resolution gate. Let's get a good angle for our bottle. And we have this backdrop here. We don't really want that. So we're going to take that edge and go to edit mesh extrude. Hit W, pull that up. Take that edge and go to edit mesh bevel. Increase segments to smooth that out. And then we're going to double click on that edge row and hit R and pull that out so it's not visible in our scene. Okay. So this is our bottle. We're going to go to our render settings and let's switch to mental ray because we use mental ray glass in our common tab. Let's do HD 1080 quality tab. Let's bump up the quality to about 1.5 and for the lighting as well. That all looks all right. Let's see, configuration. I'm still getting used to the new layout. Here we go, scene overrides, uh, global illumination. We're gonna turn that on. Uh, receiving, we're gonna turn that on as well. Caustics, yes, on, because we are creating glass. Caustics on, yes. And that should be it. So I'll pause the video, hit render, and see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, here's our final render. Uh, you can see that the glass is pretty dark. Uh, if you prefer to have uh, something that is a bit more white, then we'll just uh, minimize this. We'll select our bottle. We'll go uh, to 
object mode and uh, we'll take our material we'll scroll down and we'll take the color here and we'll bring that slider way up to about there and let's quickly do a re-render okay see you in a bit all right, well, this is our final render. Uh, you can see that the glass is now transparent and it uh, looks okay. So, well, that's how you put a label on a wine bottle. All right, so hopefully the video was helpful. And if you have any questions, as always, let me know. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you. See you guys next time.